वेलकम बैक एवरी वन टू मोर ऑफ डार्क साइड इज जेनेसिस लाइक यू नीड एन एक्सक्यूज टू डू मोर पंचिंग ही डजेंट नीड एन एक्सक्यूज टू डू मोर पंचिंग we are in the level of level in the chapter called dk we are half way through we killed uh, one of the guys one of the dread walkers yeah that was easy enough but the other puzzle here i could not solve it even after trying for quite some time so there are quite a lot of different puzzles which are strewn across for which you have to go back to these uh, levels the only problem is um if you go back you'll have to play the full level at least up to the puzzle like here i see another puzzle there are all these um unlit fire stuff up there so you'll somehow have to carry this fire from down here to up there um yeah i i kind of roamed around for 10 minutes then gave up probably don't have a power which we'll need so you can see that there is that uh, shard for um for rat that we could not pick up so we are continuing on um This is another puzzle timed. You pull this, it basically starts ticking a clock and you need to make it to that third platform before that barrier comes back. Uh this is the only timed one I found till now. Yeah, platforming with this kind of isometric view is not fun. Um Ah, we got one and then died. I wish they did not keep this platforming things. Uh, the game will be more enjoyable then. Well, it's it's very difficult to actually judge a very specific direction with this kind of view. Yeah, I can see you. See, just for that simple single point, how much trouble we had. Yeah, some of these, I'm sure they will introduce something which will will make our life very difficult because it will be a long platforming section. Ah, oh, now we didn't make it. We'll pull it again because we won't make it in time. Um, oh, or rather, we will die. Okay, this time no mistakes. Okay, we just need to go to this platform and then immediately jump up and we should be good. That move from War feels really satisfactory. It's like uh when that massive move happens yeah war is all about doing massive moves where uh strife is more like uh, whittling down enemies health slowly and strategically so my way of playing through uh, i think strife fits me better um we've re-entered the main chamber this ooh. place is a maze and not the fun kind actually There is no fun kind. Yeah, there is no fun kind of maze. Okay, so after all that we have come back, we now can go towards the left and fight that guy and then we'll open up the middle section. Cuz now we have the power. Last time we came here we didn't have it. I haven't given a uh, lot of fair chance. Um, you know, from the very beginning, I liked uh, Strife's gameplay so much that I'm using Strife for like 90% uh, of the time. 
So what I have only kept for like if we are in a pinch, if we are in trouble with a boss or something. Look at this move. This is again from War. So he has some massive like damage doing move. Whereas nothing compares to Stripe's uh, hot streak. Like when you can chain, you know, as much as like 20 enemies together and attack them at the same time, nothing can replace that. But his normal attacks are like, you'll have to be very strategic. And hot streak, that uh, bar goes down if you're not shooting at enemies actively. It doesn't go down fast, but it does go down slowly. Now look at that. We just destroyed these guys. So right side is a shortcut. We'll open that up. Yeah, we have been here before from the other side. Okay, let's go fight the boss. Uh, in fact, before that, we have quite quite a lot of fighting to be done. At least this bunch. Look at that mayhem. So satisfactory. Oh, -ho, we have a power chest. So, Strife is going to get another power. Now, it's a war's power. Death touch. So, essentially, you mark enemies by pressing Y. Uh, whoever it touches, they are marked. And uh, then when you kill them, they actually burst. And doing damage around them. Wow. Oh. Oh, that's visually awesome. Look at that mayhem. So you are given all sorts of power and basically then left alone to chain them at your own will so that you can, you can use your imagination to wreak maximum chaos, to do maximum uh, you know, damage. This is one of those where if you're getting like uh, surrounded by enemies, mark all of them and then hit them two more times, they all burst in burst in flame doing damage to each other and clearing the room hopefully. That'll be awesome. So there is a third power for strife which actually we'll have to go back to that ice level. I'll do that off screen and we'll probably start start using it from uh, from the next area. It's called World Ender. We haven't got it yet. But we missed a small section in uh, that ice iced area. Oh, not the iced one. It was the lava one. Uh, where we got, like just before Mamon, we, uh, we had to gather the seals. So if you remember, after the second seal, there was a room where we we went before the seal was broken but we didn't go there after the uh, after the seal was broken so we had to go there after the seal was broken to basically find a hidden room where you find the world ender now now i knew that one uh, that one work. but good thing is it puts us here so that we can get some help um, so yeah, you get a, a strike gets his third capability called World Ender, which is an awesome capability and it will help us a lot in the later stages. And we are almost, what, 50% through the game. There are still like four or five more chapters. Death is everything. Or maybe we are halfway you guys through. Really need some new material. I think there are like 16 chapters. We are at chapter 7.
So we know these guys. Um, easy enough. They either charge at, it, charge at you or they throw their spear at you. Uh, you can easily dodge both of them. Ah. We didn't see it coming. We had to use a health, a health potion. These boss fights are awesome. I really love them. All of them. you three times that's not good I've used up two of my health potions we should keep moving always perpendicular to his position that way we'll never get hit he's almost dead hey I'm lean meat he says I'm lean meat Alright, the second Dreadwalker is done. Um, we'll go move on, move on towards that central area. There is a chest there, uh, right where we came in. But I never found a way to get to that chest, you know. You will see on the way back, we will look at the chest again and again, but we'll never find a way to get to it. Um, is the chest at the at the end of the rooms. these archers in that room you can take them out from here otherwise they are a nuisance three of the archers see even from there one of them managed to hit me so this is weird um, you can use the bomb to hit three switches uh, this switch towards the right that opens that top door but you cannot reach the switch this switch towards the left it opens the right door so that you can reach that first switch and uh, basically you need to hit the left switch first then the right switch then reach uh, when the right switch is uh, hit Either, of the, you, either you hit the right switch and then the top gate opens, you basically go to the top room and create the second portal or you can use that right section to actually move on the upper platform and go to that uh, top room. So here we try out the, the hitting both the switches uh, but then it didn't happen so we use this platform. What should I do? I thought I'll be able to hit it from here, but no chance. Because you can't even see that second portal. So here you get the second portal. And once the second portal is ready, it becomes uh, pretty straightforward to get to that third uh, to the third uh, um, switch you can already see the oh shit 
that work. That shouldn't have. So once you get to the start switch, uh, then uh, you essentially press it to to open that the the rightmost door, which you can't see in the main screen. So it has to be. I'm still thinking like, how do we get to that side room? So it has to be hit the hit the third switch. Okay. But that doesn't open this one that opens the right one and then hit the first switch but then i realized no that's not the order in which it happens because by the time you reach that door it's closed so we need to do it in the opposite order we need to hit the first switch and then the third switch through the portal right simple uh, puzzle but takes a little bit of time to figure out yeah none of the puzzles have been that difficult there have been some areas which are difficult to get and I think mostly because uh, we don't have the corresponding powers that's needed. Okay, so we finally reach another switch but we still haven't found the way to reach that that other uh, chest which had some cores. Feels so bad to One live it. Down. To uh, live it because we could clearly see it. The second switch is uh, very straightforward. You cannot get there without having this power. So you can only do this now and that primes the, the switches to be hit by War's blade and get into the main, the main chamber. The third guy. Find the Dread Lord. So he's the dread walker lord um so this guy is a little tougher than the previous two dread lords previous two dread walkers mainly the toughness is because the arena is very small it's long but it's small and uh, he has quite a lot of minions which come out and start attacking you things become very chaotic and there is not enough space to move around so you will see what I mean when the fight starts. So the best strategy would be to dodge sideways and then move to the other end of the arena. But in that case, you need to have a you need to have him in your view because otherwise you won't be able to see when he's throwing his spear. Here he goes. I cannot be stopped. I will fade in your blood. So he has the same uh, attacks, except he has like a couple of additional attacks. He will stomp on the ground and uh, ah, there you go. He basically makes his next wave of his uh, uh, minions to come out. And it will be a constant uh, uh, barrage of minions. Especially those archers, they are dangerous because their arrows do damage over time can quickly get you down to almost no health. Ah, hit me. Ah shit, we got hit by arrow again. If you're close to him, when he does that stomping on the ground, you will be uh, damaged also. At least some shadows, at least either a shadow is created or yeah, we will lure him because he doesn't have any more minions. <laughs> he started going over those cantrops and died. Hey, the next episode we will go fight Belial. Oh, he has a weapon, so that will be next. I still find it odd that Lucifer would choose such a gluttonous fool to aid him. He's always playing a shadow game. I'm sure we'll find out why Belial's important. Probably when it's too late. All right, with that, Chapter Seven is done. Let's go back and talk to Samael.
Yeah, after the first time I tried, I haven't gone back to the ah, void. You return. I think I found my least favorite part of hell. So, the weapon Bilal's making. What did you learn? Lucifer managed to create a portal to Eden. The waters there now flow into a great lake in hell, where Belial is corrupting them. We know this already. Vast rivers of burning poison. This is unforgivable. Unfortunately, the portal itself cannot be closed. However, you could destroy the mechanism that creates the poison. We must go there, now! Eden has suffered enough injustice! I might warn you that the area is... Now! <laughs> now! Okay, with that we'll end this episode. Hopefully you guys liked it. If you did, give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. I'll see you with the next episode.